here we can see we have A, which is odd with B. So over here we will write down A or B, and we'll put it in brackets. Here we can now see we have A odd with the C, and we'll put that over here, A or C, and we'll put that in brackets. Now this OR results in an OR being placed here. If we now look at this A and this A, we can see they're in common. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that outside of the brackets. And if we take a close look, we can see the A is odd with the B and odd with the C. Consequently, it's going to be odd with the brackets. Now what we can do, we can look to see that we have a B and a C. So they will go inside the brackets. And here we can see that that OR is transferred and put there. Before we go on, let's remind ourselves of this. A 0 or a 0 is a 0. A 0 or a 1 is a 1. A 1 or a 0 is a 1. And a 1 or a 1 is a 1. Let's have a look at this here. We can see that's A or B. And that corresponds to this in the truth table. I'll draw a line between them to make that obvious. And what we're now going to do, we're going to OR together the A or the B. We can see that gives us a 0. Two zeros there gives us a zero. A zero or a one gives us a one. A zero or a one gives us a one. Now all of those are one. There's at least one one present, so we have a one at the output. Let's look at this now. We've got A or C. That corresponds to this entry in the truth table. And we're now going to OR the A with the C. So zero or zero is a zero. A zero or a one is a one. A zero or a zero is a zero. A 0 or a 1 is a 1. Now all of these are a 1, which is sufficient to give us a 1 here. Let's consider this lot here, which is the ordering of the two columns I've just produced, as we can see by this heading. And we can see that I'm ordering those columns. So let's have a look at each one in turn. A 0 or a 0 gives us a 0. A 0 or a 1 gives us a 1. A 1 or a 0 gives us a 1, a 1, or a 1, gives us a 1. Now all of these are exactly the same, which means we'll have here a 1. We now have another truth table, and we're going to have a look at this with respect to this particular column as shown by that line. And now we're going to have a look at the inputs B and C and see what we get. So we can get a 0 there, 0 or a 1 gives us a 1. Now this gives us two zeros, which is a zero. Now I'm quite happy that the rest must be a one, because there's at least one one present in every example. Let's have a look at this, and we can see that relates to this column here. And we can see there's an OR there, which means we're going to be ORing the A with the B or C, which gives us a zero. A zero or a one gives us a one. A zero or a one gives us a one. A zero or a one gives us a one. And then a 1 or a 0 gives us 1, a 1 or a 1 gives us 1, a 1 or a 1 gives us 1. And finally, a 1 and a 1 gives us a 1. Now let's compare this column here with this column. And if we look very carefully, it's quite clear that they are exactly the same. Which means that this heading to the column and this heading to the column must be the same. Consequently, this and this is being proved.